Hey everyone, welcome to my channel where I upload videos for uh, various hackathons, internships and placements. And one of those program is now Flipkart Grid 6.0. And today we have Abhijit with us who was national finalist in Flipkart Grid 5.0. Also an SD intern at Flipkart. So today he'll guide us how to prepare for this program, how many rounds are there, how to increase your chances of selection in this program. So Abhijit, let's get started with your introduction. Oh, so, hi Upasna. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me here. And uh, about me, then uh, hi everyone. Uh, I am Abhijit. So I recently completed my graduation from NIT Durgapur in Computer Science and Engineering. 2024 batch. So uh, in previous year, uh, with two of my very close friends, uh, we participated in Flipkart Grid uh, together as a team. And uh, we were the national level finalist in previous year. And because of that, uh, I got the pre-placement internship op uh, interview opportunity that was there. So through that, uh, I was selected as an HD intern in Flipkart. And uh, yeah, uh, after that, I have completed my internship in Flipkart and currently I'm working as an HD1 in Flipkart. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much about my introduction. And thank you once again for having me here. Congratulations, Abhijit. So let's start the video with covering what is basically Flipkart grid, uh, covering the summary of this. Yeah, so I'll tell you briefly what is the Flipkart Great. So Flipkart Chris Grid is a national level problem solving challenge. I'm using problem solving challenge word very uh, intentionally because uh, there they will give you a set of problems. First of all, once you clear the basic preliminary round, after that they will provide you a set of problems and you have to provide a solution for the problem. It based upon your track, based upon uh, what track you are participating. So yeah. So you have to solve a real by the industry in e-commerce world, right? So it's a overall national level uh, problem solving challenge, basically. And there, the, the aim of this challenge from Flipkart is to hire uh, great talents across the nation without any boundary of uh, colleges and uh, streams. So if you see the eligibility, you'll find that. Okay. So that's uh, the main motto of this uh, Flipkart grid challenge. Yeah. So covering the eligibility criteria from 2025 batch, everyone is eligible irrespective of your college. Uh, you are just an engineering student, then you can apply for it. And its applications are open for almost 24 days. Okay. Yes, so sir. Abhijit. And just one request to yeah. Vasna, uh, please add the link of the Unstop in the Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'll add that link in the description. And also, I'll add some PYQ links of the Flipkart grid in the description. Sure, sir. We'll definitely give some PYQs. Yeah. For... So, coming to round one, the tech quiz. How students can prepare for this and what uh, they can keep in mind while giving this quiz? Yes. So, the first of all, you have to understand uh, the structure of the tech quiz, right? So this is a very preliminary round. If you uh, see the number of registration on the unstop, it went up to lakhs, uh, um, maybe in millions or something like that. So uh, they have uh, created this uh, MCQ kind of quiz. So this consists of basically MCQ questions. All questions were MCQs. And uh, it is of 30 minute duration uh, as per um, I remember. So yeah, this is of 30 minute duration. And every team member, of your team has to be participated in this quiz right so uh, and the evaluation criteria for this quiz is uh, very important like you the accuracy matters the speed matters right so you have to be accurate with the speed so and not only you every member of your team has to uh, follow this criteria right so there are few suggestions i can give first of all to read the instruction very carefully on an stop you will get to know much in details uh, about this round second of all use uh, mouse if possible this is a very basic thing but yeah it's uh, necessary when you because every question has one minute of duration right you have to read that question you have to answer it correctly so if you are not very comfortable with touchpad use mouse to increase your speed because that will lead to your selection 
and yeah every team just focus that every team member has to perform very good right to increase your chances of selection so just uh, be prepared to uh, master the accuracy with the speed so that is the main thing even they provide some links to prepare for this quiz like uh, about flipkart stories or something yeah huh. so yeah definitely so what uh, is the content of the quiz that is the second part so uh, in the quiz basically they ask the question related to oops tbms that is uh, basic cs fundamentals right or it can be a code debugging kind of thing so they give they will give a code and they'll say find an error or kind of thing or an output predict predictability kind of thing so these kind of questions are there uh, apart from that there are questions from flipkart uh, values or flipkart stories that they provide a link in on stop so if you when you visit the page of, of grid in on stop you will find a link below of flipkart story so definitely you should read that because one or two question you might get from that so it will definitely lead to a better score if you have read that okay abhijit uh, next coming to round number 2 submission round what is basically in this round and uh, how was your round two yeah sir so, so once you clear the first round right so you will get your results on the unstop platform only so once you clear the first round you will uh, get the communication for the second round in second round they will provide an uh, word doc kind of thing in which they have mentioned uh, problems problem statements right so suppose four problem statements are there four different problem statements are there for one track and similarly for other tracks there are problem statements so you have to choose one problem statement according to your track and uh, then you have to start building a solution for it right so what is the expectations from you on round 2 is to uh, give a just a prototype of your solution not the exact working solution but the uh, suggestion here is that if you are working on a project like uh, suppose your problem statement is like a, a website or something like that so make sure that you attach your at least 90% develop uh, solution right so if you can attach attach a live link or kind of thing it will be better for a uh, person who is evaluating your solution so generally the flipkart uh, sd is evaluate your solutions right so that i got to know when i joined as intel so they evaluate your solution so if a link is if you can provide a link so i will definitely suggest that you complete your solution provide a live working link with that and focus more on uh, data results not on words right so because they have a lot of solutions to uh, evaluate so focus more on data word uh, data and results rather than words so you'll get to know about the instructions in the section okay abhijit uh, next coming to the finale round uh, was this offline in the flipkart campus or where and how was your this round and after finale round how it got converted into sd internship so sure. so that was the most interesting part of this flipkart grid journey so yeah so after uh, this uh, second round has been done you will get an mail from flipkart grid side that okay you are selected for national finale round they will take care of your travel accommodation that, that is a one day event on flipkart head office bangalore Uh, so they will take care of everything your travel accommodation and all these things and you will get that for whole your team not for one person but all of your team that three members if you are there so all of the team will get the tickets and all and you will you are supposed to go there and in front of jury members so there are uh, some judges they allocate for each uh, track in front of them and also the all other uh, grid finalists they also sits there in a uh, conference room kind of thing so in front of them you have to present your solution so you'll you will be getting 10 minutes uh, to present whatever you have made in front of this uh, judges and finalists other team members so yeah uh, so this this was the whole great uh, experience and for me when i went to bangalore so that that was my first time i was traveling in, in bangalore so we get there and my project was Uh, also not finished at that time uh, i was working there so i went in the hotel and i started working so 
yeah it's a bit hectic for me but yeah it's a very good experience to, like they have provided a very good hotel and uh, after that we woke up next day they provided the cab service to the flipkart uh, headquarters we went there then again the event started with uh, introduction and a uh, bit uh, fun game activities kind of things yeah the whole day was very interesting uh, they provided a very good meal uh, twice for us uh, it it is like it started in the morning 9 or 10 and it uh, went till 5 in the evening so yeah, it was a full day event uh, full pack of all entertainment and everything and you will get the results and uh, the prizes on the same day so that's one of the problem. yeah they have like cash prize of 1 lakh 75000 something uh yeah that is uh, one catch in this so this is not a actual cash prize it's a easy way so electronic gift vouchers so yeah, yeah. that you can redeem on flipkart uh, platform you can buy anything on flipkart using that so and you know you can buy everything on flipkart almost now it is so yeah definitely it is uh, almost equal to the one the cash so the winner got 1 lakh and then 75000 for the next prize this so, and every track got it's not like overall every track has winner and second winner and third this okay so next part is uh, after this finale round uh, how was like what was the process of converting into an sd internship sure so uh, two things uh, like uh, just i like to mention once you clear that first round the mcq round right so you are now eligible to participate in flipkart hiring uh, flipkart hiring process right you will get the oi link uh, online oi link and you are eligible to participate in it so that's why you are very uh, please make sure to clear, clear, uh, clear this uh, first round now coming to the national finalist so if you are the national finalist uh, uh, it doesn't matter you are winning there or not winning there if you are uh, going to bangalore to present your solution uh now you are eligible for pre placement interviews so you will directly get the interview link not immediately but after some time of this finale you will get an call from hr they will ask for your schedule now after that uh, you will get a link for the interviews uh and in flipkart the for sd interns they directly take the dsa rounds right so for me it was two round of uh, PhDs round two round was there both are PhDs so they just uh, we'll talk about an interview experience just after this but yeah you will get uh, the link uh, there are mostly two rounds of interview and after that uh, just after just after interview you'll get the uh, confirmation that okay you have secured the internship and they will call you uh, in the so the campus yeah so how was your interview experience yep so my interview experience it was quite a moment of shock for me to get selected in such an uh, big company uh, yeah so when i got my offer letter so i was traveling back from somewhere so i was literally tear was there in my eyes so it was a overwhelming moment for me and yeah uh, after that uh, my joining was a bit late because my interview happened a bit late so i joined very late in as an sd inter almost in the starting of feb so once i uh, enter on my first day once i entered there so the hm the sorry not hm uh, the em called me engineering manager is our manager so he was very polite i was really shocked like uh, person at this uh, Uh, stage of their career they are very polite in and everyone is in flipkart is quite uh, uh, respectful and quite supporting kind of thing you will not be like any senior junior kind of thing everyone treat you as an colleague we uh, call from them the by their name definitely by their name and if you don't call <laughs> them by their name it's a kind of uh, bad thing there so yeah you should call them by their name only and it creates a friendly environment yeah and everyone is supporting you can reach from uh, nsd 1 to em to director level everyone you can ask go and ask everyone anything uh, everyone is there to help you like it is uh, for me it's uh, one of the most uh, supporting culture i can say 
is there in Flipkart, and the and that is why it is getting continuously best workplace to work uh, awards, and so yeah, there is a lot of good things in Flipkart you can explore, and obviously the tech part you are working, you are handling millions and millions of concurrent customers and uh, concurrent users, so the, the operation of your uh, work, uh, sorry the um, what I say does the size of your operation right uh, it is used by real customers in millions of numbers so that is really and uh, good thing to start your career it's so really your nice. was six months internship from feb to this july yes sir uh, my one mine was six month internship uh, most uh, if you are the finalist mostly you get the uh, combined offer uh, that is intern plus, plus uh, FT. FTE but yeah in my case uh, there was some hiring constraints so mm -hmm. I get the internship offer first after that I got my full time offer after one round of yeah. okay so last thing that uh, from this internship to PPO uh, you were having an interview was it managerial or also DSA based no it's a totally managerial round you can say that there is two things that matters once you join the flipkart as an intern and suppose you are not having an fte offer the two things you have to make sure that first of all you have to work uh, go, uh, hard there obviously and uh, maintain a good relation with your manager right so because the evaluation has two parts in it first is manager's uh, review which consists of some 50 or 60 percent of your uh, marks and uh, then the second thing is the hm round that happens at the end of your, at the tenure end of your internship right? so that hm round is taken by mostly the senior em in the company and definitely it's not your uh, em or something kind of that so it's a uh, different teams uh, managers so they will take your hm round they will ask generally questions about uh, your uh, Inter internship experience what work do you have done there and uh, they can also ask the questions related to the personality kind of things yeah but not dsa so dsa is not required at that time so, so that's that's how it went okay Vijay, this was from my side um, and thank you for coming okay. and thank you for recording the video uh, thank you very much. And one thing I want to add in the last that yeah. okay, if anyone watching this video, if they ask something, they need more clarification, grid or anything, they can reach out to me or you in, via LinkedIn or anything. And then we can, if we are able to clarify, we'll clarify. Otherwise, we can connect them with a person who can clarify their, their doubts. Right. So okay. it sounds good. Yeah. Uh, like. Uh if anyone posts in the comment if i am able to answer i'll and if i'm not then i'll sure. forward it to you and then i'll answer sure you. sure definitely definitely we'll do that and we'll also attach the pyqs and yeah. questions pyq uh, this unstop link and how to prepare for cs fundamentals that video also. sure sir. so just uh, just uh, best of luck for everyone who is going to participate this year and try to at least uh, first focus on the first round it's very important because after clearing the first round you will be eligible to be a part of hiring process in flipkart and believe me guys uh, flipkart is worth having this uh, this uh, hard work so take your chance and give it uh, your best so thank you thank you